On May 3rd, Flying Wedge Defence and Aerospace Mission launched the FWD 200B, India's first indigenous bomber unmanned aircraft at the prestigious White Feather venue in Electronic City. This may help in reducing India's reliance on costly bomber unmanned aircraft imports and boost the Make in India initiative. Mr. Suhas Tejaskanda, the founder of Flying Wedge Defence and Aerospace, emphasized that after over 15 years of effort, India's aspiration for combat unmanned aircraft has finally become a reality. Despite challenges faced by DRDO projects like Tapas and Tristam, today with the introduction of the FWD 200B, India achieves advanced combat aircraft capabilities. He highlighted the cost effectiveness of the FWD 200B, which is manufactured in India and significantly reduces expenses compared to its US counterpart. The FWD 200B Post impressive features including a payload capacity of 100 kgs, optical surveillance payloads, and precision airstrike capabilities. With a maximum speed of 200 kts or 370 km per hour, endurance capacity of 12 to 20 hours, and a ground control station range of 200 km, it stands as a revolutionary bomber UAV. Hello, my name is Suhas Tejaskanda. I am the founder and CEO of Flying Wedge Defense and Aerospace. We are located in Bangalore Electronic City. So the machine that you are seeing, the aircraft, is uh, India's first unmanned aircraft. Uh, bomber aircraft, in fact, made for India and made in India. 97% of the components are made in India. So we have been depending on Hermes 900 from Israel. We have been dependent on Predators, which are $32 million in worth. Now we are launching this at less than $3 million. So we will be saving 90% of the costs. And, and now, yes, we are not dependent on anybody. And we have our own combat aircraft vehicles here. The bomber unmanned aircraft vehicles, in fact. So you would have seen. Uh, the attack of Iran or Israel uh, where 300 drones were striked and you know uh, same thing happens with India we don't have got a technology where you know uh, we can counter that so this is such a combat aircraft vehicle class uh, medium altitude long endurance which can save you from such attacks carrying 150 plus uh, various unmanned aircraft small unmanned aircraft inside and it has the capability to fly of about for about 12 to 15 hours in air is the endurance and it can carry 150 to 200 kgs of payload uh, you mean uh, optical payload and also uh, the missiles which is used for the air strike now we are combat ready for any aerial attack layer of ai into that wherein you have to precisely uh, load the location or you want to uh, bombard a, a particular place you can just load it and you can uh, use the object detection algorithm where this will precisely go and hit that and within seconds you can change the target and you don't need to send your men with rifles to fight uh, you know uh, now in the borders or to fight the bots flying bots i would say this will do that for you this is a scale model which will be put into flying in uh, for less than 15 days and within next two months the complete air tests and the flight behavior would be noticed and then we'll be going for Similac certifications and it should be good to be inducted into army in next three months we'll be reaching out to the PMO as well after all our initial trials so uh, we'll wait for the next three months so that this will be inaugurated in a big way and I'm sure this will en empower all our forces uh, and make them combat ready, uh, air combat ready basically. It, it is extremely important because uh, there are certain reasons why government run institutions might not take off so well. They have their own reasons to it which we don't want to point out but uh, you see a country like US is powered by Lockheed Martin, Boeing type of companies, Airbus and Dassault uh, supporting uh, France, you have uh, Hesa Shahid supporting Iran and Biker Defense supporting Turkey and you don't have a company like that in India which actually designs the complete aircraft in India and empowers India. So uh, we thought why not we do that for the country. The, the future is pretty clear. Uh, everywhere you will see drones be it for agriculture already uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji is promoting about Nare Namo Didi schemes where uh, you know these big uh, self-help group women can become pilots of agriculture pilots. Uh, already uh, 1 lakh plus drones are being uh, you know uh, acquired for this purpose. 15,000 only for this particular scheme and you can see photography wherever man cannot reach there the drone can reach for example mining for example oil and gas industry to survey the pipelines so we have a lot of use cases where drones can be used but it is very essential to have air combat vehicles at the earliest because every other country is getting so strong you just imagine you know uh, Russia and US being the mightiest from decades today is depending on Iran for Shahed aircrafts 
and it's not able to withstand Ukraine attack because Ukraine is again depending on Baikar defense for Turkey for the Bayratka drones. The war of drones. So you need to have drones now, not the Bofo guns, not the artilleries and not the guns. The small arms, the tanks uh, are obsolete. Yes, missiles to some extent will work, but how many missiles do you have in country to fire against the drones and uh, at what cost? So. All the, uh, uh, you know, the ammunition that you have developed over these many years, you just can't burn it like Deepavali crackers. So you just have to store it. And we don't want to get into the financial uh, crisis when there is a war. So these cheaper systems will help you uh, fight the financial war as well and also the unmanned aircraft war, which will also reduce the casualties. Yes, uh, so we are planning to launch it at th uh, $3 million, less than a $3 million in fact, which is 25 crores approximately, uh, compared to uh, US Predator, which costs you 32 million whooping, 250 crores. And uh, Israel is selling Hermes 900 at 5.5 to $6 million, which comes about 40 to 50 crores roughly. So now we want to disrupt this market, wherein Make in India drones are going to be the hot news across the globe. And we play a certain geopolitics uh, across the globe. Just imagine how it is going to be. Now that Prime Minister has already supplied Brahmos to Vietnam. So similarly, we will be supplying this to uh, Southeast Asian countries and also many African countries, which can't buy a 32 million predator drone, but needs uh, badly a drone. That can be Indian drone.